Hello, Life on Robbers. I'm putting it out here and you're taking it away. That's what I'll call you, Life on Robbers. We're back here with another Badger product to look at and taste and review for the first time ever. And you get to see my astonishment and delight or insipid sour expression, whichever it may be, to Badger Golden Glory. Now, we have did Badger before as a company. You'd notice the animal theme going on with all of their ales. The same place, Dorset Ales, 1777. We'll take a look at the little fun story that we get on the back. But it says here, gloriously peachy. On a crisp winter's day, a cloudless sky fills the Dorset coastline with sunshine. Above, a white-tailed eagle can be seen soaring above the sea. The silhouette of its majestic wings, a sign that spring is near. This is the perfect time to enjoy the deliciously balanced peach and melon flavours of this award-winning classic. An ideal complement to sticky barbecue ribs or an indulgent vanilla cheesecake. Oh, I could do with one of those right now. Oh, goodness. Right, I get the feeling then that this is going to be a little on the sweet side. Shall we find out? Now, I've just had dinner, so technically this could be, what, dessert? Check the cap. Wow. That is a... Just from the cap. So fruity, so peachy. Bottle's completely different. See, when you get the cap, it's just a certain characteristic. It's like a caricature of the actual ale inside. The proof is in the tasting. Well, here it is. Didn't quite feel the pint glass. Did a little bit shy there. Now it's breathing in a wider space. You're really getting the fruity character again that we originally smell in the bottle cap. Quick taste of the foam. Reassuringly bitter. Let's begin. That's very mild. Quite sweet. Very fruity, very peachy. So, completely fruity on the nose. Initially quite fairly bitter in the mouth. Mild aftertaste that sinks away to nothing, as mild as can be. With a peachy fruitiness that just sinks in. It could be very nice for some of the fairer sex who perhaps don't sometimes like to uh, drink ales. Maybe the bitterness, if you don't like a bitter, could still be a bit too much though for those that don't like it. So I'm not sure how that would be for those that like like doing um, lemonade tops and bottoms and as such how that would work with it. I definitely get the idea that this would go quite nice with a cheesecake. I wish I had a vanilla cheesecake right now to drink this with because I really do agree it would be delicate because you know the, the flavour of vanilla, especially on a cheesecake, it's so delicate and subtle a balance of flavour that any other flavour you add to the vanilla really comes out very very strongly but in a subtle way as well so if you were to add sort of citrus fruits to a vanilla cheesecake you'll get that blend of it coming through as well with the vanilla and in the same way that in theory you would get the peach in this with a vanilla cheesecake in theory also the bitter should contrast interestingly against the sweet of the cheesecake which is always good to go for with your cheesecake toppings as well for them to be a little bit tart on top and of course sugary underneath. A nice drink, a nice little experience. If you like the idea of trying something a bit fruity, um, I can't say I dislike this ale at all. It's not going to be in my favourites because fruitiness really isn't on my list to look for but you know it's an interesting experience. I'm quite glad I tried this one and I'm enjoying it. Uh, you know I'm enjoying this. It's, an, it's a nice ale definitely. It's easy on the palate. I'm going to give it three and a half pints out of five from me personally. However, I'm going to say it should get four pints if you normally think that 
ales are becoming boring and you want to try something a bit different or you don't normally like the aftertaste on ales, maybe then it would be a four for you. But it's certainly that bit better than average, but it's just the fact that it's peachy as a fruit that I can't stick it up there in the top contenders, but interesting drink. Nice work, Badger. That's a good one.